you've made it to the end. So just hang with me. How you doing? Are you tired of that question? Here's my ex. I come from a large family. Yeah, no one weighs under 210. <laughs> and uh, my mom's here tonight. I'm sure she's really thrilled I just said 210. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> it just gets better. So anyway, she's real proud of me right now. Not so much because I'm performing on stage this time with my clothes on, but because... <laughs> but because I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally wear makeup. Because, uh, why? Because women should never have to wear makeup or alter their bodies in any way in order to be seen as beautiful or acceptable. And because I'm lazy as hell. <laughs> yeah. Did I say lazy? I meant lesbian. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. She must be friends with the librarian. <laughs> No, actually, what you're really thinking is, great, a pudgy lesbian stand-up who doesn't wear makeup? Uh, another Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> so, I don't think Rosie ever played the punchline, actually. So I'm trying to get into shape. I mean, I have a shape. <laughs> I swear. Honestly, my measurements are like 40, 39 and a half, 40. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, really not hourglass. That's more like digital clock. <laughs> So, as I was saying, I'm trying to get in shape. And I keep trying these sports I'm just not built for, like running or bicycling or walking. <laughs> I know you're tired. These, uh, these activities that require moving mass through space with speed and and grace and I just can't do that so I decided I wasn't going to humiliate myself anymore and I was going to find an activity that worked with this body so last night after ballet class <laughs> Yeah, so last night after ballet, I was at my 12-step my meeting. Oh, yeah. It's not funny. It'll get funny. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to go here, but I feel like there's something between us. Like, I can trust you. So this is private, just between you and me. But I uh, recently went into recovery. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, all the addicts in the house. Woo, yeah. So I recently went into recovery for compulsive eating and shopping. Thank you. This is true. Um, yeah, I uh, realized I had a problem when one day I was craving a fudgesicle. I mean, I was 
jonesing for a farcical. <laughs> and I didn't have any, and I thought, oh, I could freeze some yuhu on a stick. <laughs> didn't work very well. So I ran out and got a bag of pork rinds and a big screen television. <laughs> yep, I knew I had a problem. I already had two televisions. So eating and shopping, really, the two lamest addictions. Honestly, have you ever seen an after-school special where they stage an intervention like Honey, we love you, and you need help. We smell Twinkies on your breath, again. <laughs> I learned it from you, Mom. <laughs> no, you have not. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not eating or shopping anymore. I'm doing a lot of drinking. <laughs> you made it to the 